You don't need to code to create amazing WooCommerce apps. Introducing AppMaker, no code app builder. Hello, everyone. In this video, I will show you how to set up sliding images in your app with AppMaker. Sliders are a sort of block found on in app pages. Multiple slides will be displayed in the same place for each slide. You can assign custom actions to each slider by clicking on the slider block. Here are a couple of sliders I've created. Let me show you how we can do it from the scratch. You can remove or duplicate these blocks by clicking on the three dots. Let's remove the block here. Now, to add a slider, scroll down and find the Add Block option. Once you click on Add Block section, you can see a list of options. You can add banners, grids, sliders, and other blocks using this option. You can select a slider by either using the search bar or just simply select from the list. Choose the slider option and it will be added to your in-app page. When you click on Add App Maker Slider, you will notice that a slider has been added to the block. Now, let's add an image to the slider. Select the Add Image option and then upload an image. The image slider will work best with images that are under 1000 by 1000 pixels in size. As you can see, the image has been added. To add more sliders, click the Add App Maker Slider button, and then you can add as many sliders as you want. Let me add a couple more images to the sliders. Images have been added to the sliders. If you want to move the position of the images in the slider, just click on the arrow button. You can also add action to your sliders. You can assign actions to each banner and sliders using the action menu. Categories, tags, objects, and a range of other options will be available in the dropdown list. After you've given an action to the slider, the user will be redirected to the page you've selected. To add action, Go to the App Maker action menu on the right side of the dashboard. You can choose from a variety of options here, such as opening in-app pages, viewing a URL on the web, viewing a product list, and so on. For this slider, I selected Open Product by Category and choose the category from the drop-down below. By clicking on the Move Arrow button, we can move the entire slider block to either up or down on the in-app page. Once done, click on the Save button. I have downloaded the app file from the dashboard and installed it on my Android device. You can see our slider has been added here with the assigned action and products. And that is how you add a slider in your app with AppMaker. To know more, check out our website www.appmaker.xyz.